Hey guys, it's the Average Joe. Today we're taking a case, look at a case by a company called Savalator. Uh, they reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in reviewing and showing you guys this case. Uh, this is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a black case. They have it in several other colors. Uh, I'll have it linked below. Um, and guys, if you liked my videos and you want to see more of my content, please subscribe, like. Uh, and yeah, I would love to hear you know a comment about what kind of cases you're rocking what kind of cases you like. Uh, so yeah, leave a comment below. Anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, also, everything about this case that I'm about to express is from my own opinions and thoughts. Uh, the company had no influence on what I say and they're seeing this at the same time as you guys are. So we have the case, we have the box right here. And if you look on the back, there's instructions on how to install the tempered glass screen shield. And yes, this comes with temp tempered glass screen shield and also what made me excited about this is that it has MagSafe. And you guys know I love me some MagSafe. So we got the box open, we have the case, and then we have some installation tools and we have that one. Oh, yes, we have two tempered glass screen shield and a user manual, uh, some information about the case. So I'm gonna set these aside because the case is, I guess, what you guys really want. And I'm gonna be installing the glass screen protector because, you know, I want you guys to see how it is and the kind of quality that, you know, it's made of. Now, as I'm looking at this right now, I don't know if you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking, but the way this back is made right now, I'm thinking D-Brand grip case because, uh, yeah, I don't have any extra skins right now for the grip case, but uh, as soon as I'm done filming, I'm going to go order a skin because I feel like it's going to fit perfectly on this case. And if that is the situation, then I think we have a, a really good, valid um, replacement for that case. You guys know, if you've seen the video that I made on it, I'm not a big fan of it because of the MagSafe. But I guess we'll have to see how the MagSafe on this case holds up as well, right? Um, again, there, you have the branding right here. And I love that... Looking at the case, there's no branding. It's clean, it's minimal. And there's the logo for the MagSafe. So I'm gonna put my phone in. I have, I do have a D-Brand skin on the back, but I'm gonna go button side first and it just snaps in. Uh, this is a soft silicone on the side and then there's kind of like a plasticky matte finish on the back. Uh, and it is grippy. You're not gonna, this is not gonna slip out of your hands that easily. Um, so let's look at the case. You have, the camera protection right there, which is nice. It's always good to have. So you don't have to worry about um, when you drop it, it getting broken or anything like that. There's a good amount of, um, you know, indentation right there. Um, look at the, the, the speaker holes. You'll see that there is a good amount of cutouts right there. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah, uh, they're one to one. The lightning cutout is good enough. Um, let's see if I can get better lighting for you guys. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the buttons here are not slit on the sides, which means I was kind of scared they're going to be mushy. Um, and there's a, a good cutoff for the mute rocker, so you won't have an issue getting to that. Uh, there's a, the power button right there. Um, yeah, the lay on the table is minimal. This is a thin case, guys. Uh, it's going to provide some minimal drop protection, but it should be good enough. And you do have a little hole for lanyards right there. Now the buttons. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But these are clicky. Yeah, these are some clicky buttons. Feels good. Um, yeah, so let's try out the MagSafe. I have my MagSafe charger right here um, connected to a battery bank. I'm gonna turn it on really quick. And, oh, it catches. Um, I think it's strong enough. Yeah, you can use this with like a vertical stand, like the Belkin um, three-in-one Pro Charger or a car mount or something like that. It should work perfectly fine. Uh, my phone is turned off, it's turning on right now, so I'll show you the charge when it turns on. Let's try it with my Moft Night Snap wallet. Yeah, it's good. Um, gonna try the floating mode, so you know it's 
yeah, it works fine. Um, there's no issues with the MagSafe. I'm actually pretty happy. It's not, uh, you just saw that drop. My phone is perfectly fine. Uh, it's not as strong as the, oh, you heard that charging? So you know it's charging right now. Um, yeah, so um, let's try that again. Yeah, you see right there, it's charging. Yeah, there's the charging logo. Um, so you'll know that, um, you'll notice that I dropped it really hard and the phone is fine. Um, so I'm gonna take the case off for now. Um, the case is pretty on there. Um, I'm able to get it off pretty quickly. And I'm gonna try to do this on camera for you guys. I'm gonna try to install this screen protector. Now these screen shields, they are uh, full, full glass, 9H uh, hardness, anti-explosives. Um, and it's cool cause it, you know, it's got the bezels and then, you know, around the thing, around the speaker hole, there's an opening for that. So this case is nice cause it's, they're actually providing you with full 360 degree protection. So what we have here, uh, sorry, I hit my camera. There's a microfiber cloth, so I'm gonna kind of wipe it down. Actually, I think I, I don't even need the alcohol wipes. I can probably just wipe it down really good. Um, so wipe it down. Um, I'm gonna use a dust removal sticker. Get those little dust particles off. And I think that's good. Um, and let's try to get this off. I'm not gonna follow the instructions. I'm just gonna do it my kind, kind of my own way, uh, which is just lining it up with the speaker hole and just lining it up on the sides and i think it's it's good enough yeah it's gonna give it a second to adhere let's get this stuff out of the way and let's see how it looks with the case on now so i'm gonna put the case on um okay yeah so I didn't line it up right because it's bubbling in one side. So just give me a second. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm gonna just take the case off and then try to line it back up okay. So let's just grab it on the sides because I feel like it was a little too top heavy, the alignment. Uh, so. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. And there we go. Um, it's taken a minute to adhere in the middle, but with the screen protector on, there's virtually no lay on the table protection, unfortunately. Um, it kind of goes all the way to the top, to the edge. Um, so it, it'll be okay when you're swiping and swiping down, swiping up, doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so you'll just have to really be dependent on the screen protector to really be the main protection for the screen, which is why I guess they sent two, uh, or package two with this. But yeah, guys, uh, so this is a salivator to a case. I want to thank them again for sending this out. Um, uh, this was a rough video for me. <laughs> Sorry about that, but... Uh, I am going to order a D-brand skin because I do want to see how it fits on this. I feel like if it fits perfectly, it uh, might be a good alternative uh, to actually buying that case because that case is uh, pretty expensive, at least double, two and a half times or so the cost of this case. So also the screen protector, guys, it's, it's pretty good quality. The oleophobic coating is pretty nice on this. So you don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks again. Take it easy.